Princess Charlotte has been christened at a church in Sandringham after the Cambridges made their first public outing as a family of four. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge pushed the princess in a pram the Queen used for two of her own children. Several thousand well-wishers greeted the royals, while Prince George delighted the crowds on foot. The royal couple announced they had chosen five godparents for the princess ahead of the christening. The christening was held at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene, and attended by the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh. Other guests included the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, Catherine's parents Michael and Carol Middleton and two siblings, Pippa and James. The baptism, conducted by Archbishop of Canterbury the Most Reverend Justin Welby, was held in private. Princess Charlotte has two fewer godparents than her brother George, and none from within royal circles. The five include Catherine's cousin Adam Middleton, William's cousin Lady Laura Fellows and Thomas Van Strabenzi, a friend of the Duke's. The final two are the Duke's friend James Mead, who read the lesson during the service, and the Duchess's friend Sophie Carter. Mr. Van Strabenzi, whom William met at Ludge Row Prep School, and Mr. Mead, a friend from Eton, were both ushers at the Duke and Duchess's wedding and gave speeches at the reception. Lady Laura Fellows is the daughter of Baroness Jane Fellows, a sister of Diana, Princess of Wales. Like her brother, Charlotte was christened in a replica of the lace and satin christening gown made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter, Victoria, the Princess Royal, in 1841. The original was worn by all royal babies until the christening of Prince Edward's son James, Viscount Severn, in 2008. Charlotte was christened using the ornate silver gilt lily font which is usually on show as part of the crown jewels at the Tower of London. Among those gathered to catch a glimpse of the princess was 80-year-old royal enthusiast Terry Hutt, who camped overnight to get a good spot. Wearing a Union Jack suit and hat, he said, this is such a happy occasion and I just wanted to be part of it. Lori Spencer, 52, from Florida, gave up a $1,200, £770, ticket to the British Grand Prix to attend. When I found out the christening was happening while we were here I knew I just had to be there, but there was no way my husband was, she said. We were having dinner last night and somebody on the next table heard us talking and asked if he could have my ticket instead, so they have gone to the Grand Prix and I have come here. Anyone bringing flowers was asked to give them to representatives of East Anglia's children's hospices, where Catherine is a patron, who will then take them to hospices in the region. Prince Harry was among those missing from the ceremony. He is currently spending three months in Africa. St. Mary Magdalene is the church used by the Queen when she is resident on her private estate. Archbishop Welby gave an address. He was supported by the Reverend Canon Jonathan Riviere, the rector of the Sandringham Group of Parishes. Lambeth Palace released the text of the homily given by the Archbishop, which included the words, It seems that different forms of ambition are hardwired into almost all of us. At a baptism our ambitions are rightly turned into hopes and prayers for the child, today for Princess Charlotte. Everyone wants something for their children. At our best we seek beauty, not necessarily of form, but of life. Among the pieces of music chosen for the event was Vaughan Williams' Prelude on Rosimitra, a piece the Duke and Duchess used as processional organ music at their wedding. Mario Testino has been asked by William and Catherine to take the official photographs after the service. Following the service, the Duke and Duchess will host a tea at Sandringham House where guests will be served slices of christening cake, which is a tear from their wedding cake.